Okay, I went ahead and made two brackets uh, to hold the limiter shaft. It's going to go like that. I made the uh, two brackets out of a piece of uh, three quarter inch wide, sixteenth inch thick uh, aluminum that I had laying around. Um, and uh, also had a piece of, another piece of quarter inch rod that I had and uh, cut it to about eleven inches or so and uh, took sandpaper and polishing cloths and polished it up, did the same with the uh, brackets drilled two holes, two screw holes in the uh, brackets to mount to the uh, base drilled a quarter inch hole on the other end to uh, hold the shaft uh, bent the brackets in the, in the uh, a vise uh, glued a couple pieces of wood together to make a right angle and. Uh, laid them in the vise so it wouldn't uh, scar up the polished uh, aluminum and uh, bent them at a right angle uh, just by hand and uh, block of wood and a hammer and uh, getting ready to uh, put it together now got my center marked on the uh, base and two lines where it goes so the first thing I'm going to do is take a shaft collar and put between the two brackets at the top. This is a little bit different than the Shatton uh, winder base. They had just a piece of uh, angle on one side, but it was a thicker piece of uh, regular angle iron out of aluminum. Um, but I didn't have anything thick enough, so I didn't want to have to go buy something else. So I figured one piece would be too flimsy. You wouldn't have no way to hold the uh, shaft in there. So I figured two of them side by side, a quarter inch apart, would work just fine. So I'm going to take the... Uh, one of the uh, collars and uh, slide it on the shaft. And uh, thread it through the uh, brackets. Should have marked the center of the shaft before I started so I'd know where I was at. <clears throat> Let's see, the shaft is just shy of 11 inches by about an eighth of an inch, so uh, half of 11 would be five and a half minus a sixteenth would be five and seven sixteenths. check measure from both ends and that's right and then uh, quarter inch for, uh, for the collar there we go now we know where the collar goes in the center and you can go ahead and tighten that down side of it to hold it in place. Turn this a little bit so you can see better. And just kind of squeeze them together and tighten the set screws. Them snug. mark center mark here in the pencil on the base I can eyeball where 
where it goes. I think I'll just hold it in place and uh, mark it with a pencil. I better do it one at a time. There we go. Get that out of the way. Well, it looks like I only got three and eight four screws. Little pan head screws. And see what drill bit I need. I do need to drill a good pilot hole so it doesn't split the uh, fiber board. Probably this one right here. Three thirty seconds. Put that 332nd bit in the drill. And drill some pilot holes. Try not to drill all the way through into my table. Okay. We'll put a little soap on these screws. A little soap on the screws always helps them to go in a little easier. Actually, now that I've got everything in place, I think I'll take the uh, shaft off so I can mount these brackets a little easier. So I'll make it easier to mount the brackets. I'm a Phillips screwdriver. There's one of them. There's the other one. And Should have put this through the bracket before I thread it down. Now I gotta thread it through and try to put it through there. Come on now, get in there. I believe that's it right there. Okay. Put the collar on each 
side now. Get snug. Tighten it. Get the other two collars on. Snug it up. Tighten them. Okay. Now I just got to find another screw to tighten that other base down. Um, now I've got two more collars. Well, actually, four more. Two on each side. And these are the ones that are going to be the guide. When the pickup bobbin is on the uh, thing here, you line the collars up with the uh, inside edge of the uh, bobbin, and that's where you uh, you hold the wire between those two and work it back and forth while you're winding. So for right now, I'm just going to snug it down. Well, there it is all done. Uh, found another screw to put in the base there. Put the other two uh, shaft collars on. Of course, they have to be adjusted once you put a bobbin on there to start winding. But that's the uh, complete unit. Turn it on here. And uh, that's what she's going to look like when we go to wind the pickup.